Hi, this is Scott Fresner, developer of TCEPs and Fast Films. I'd like to talk to you right now about the routine that's the most popular in TCEPs called simulated process color. Now, it's called simulated process color because in the world of printing on paper, process color is always thought of as being the colors of CMYK. And TCEPs will do real process color, CMYK separations for T-shirts, but the inks are very transparent and your prints don't ever have that pop to them. If you're looking for the ultimate in photorealism, then you might run a design as real CMYK. YK on lighter medium colored shirts but when you need designs that pop and jump off the shirt but are still photorealistic then this is the routine you're going to run when you see very hot NASCAR shirts or rock and roll shirts or movie theme shirts I guarantee you they're run as either simulated process color or they're run as a lot of colors with index color indexing likes a few more colors whereas simulated allows you to do a lot of your designs with only five or six colors now, this routine works on a variety of artwork types. It works on cartoony type artwork. It does like images that have a little bit of pop to them. Because we're taking standard off-the-shelf colors of red, yellow, blue, green, black, brown, and we're trying to make designs work and look photorealistic, look like process colors using off-the-shelf plastisols. Now the fun thing about this is this routine also works for spot color images. This design was built in Corel Draw, although it could have been built in Adobe Illustrator also. You can build images in Corel or Illustrator, vector-based images, and you can screw around in those programs and output separations. But the truth is you can actually build them there, export them as an EPS file, bring them into Photoshop, and run them on simulated process, and it will nail it. And it will do the steps in less than a minute. And so my advice always is when in doubt, run simulated process color. Even if your design is only two colors, brown and green, you would run the simulated process color nine color plus two whites. That's 11 colors. But it will look for browns and greens also. And you'll delete all the channels you don't need and keep the two colors you need. So this is the routine you want to run first. And then if it doesn't quite nail it, you might run indexing or run real process color. But this is the most popular routine. There's the most buttons in this routine. Lots of buttons, lots of options. And we're going to cover most of these in these videotapes.